morning. My name is Gregory Williams. I'm the pastor of the Image of God Church in Christ, located at 3102 uh, Branch Avenue, uh, Temple Hills, Maryland. I'm glad to be with you this morning, praise God, as we open up our Sunday morning service, praise God, where we come in and we get a word of encouragement, where we get a chance to fellowship with one another as we touch and agree with God's will in our lives, as we hear a word that comes from God that will bless our lives. And I look forward, praise God, to delivering this message today for that that God has given to me, praise God, I also give to you. I ask God now that he might bless this ministry, bless this service, praise God, and most of all, bless you. Amen. This is a you thing, praise God. We want you blessed, praise God, by the words that God uses, praise God, in your life. That creative word, that word that makes changes, that word that heals, delivers, and strengthens, praise God. We thank God for that right now, praise God. We get ready to get started. We're going to ask our own uh, 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 trustee, Ron, uh, uh, if he will begin the uh, opening prayer for us this morning. Praise God. Lord and Heavenly Father, we come to you just saying thank you, Jesus. We come to you saying thank you, Lord, for this is the day that the Lord has made that we will continue to be glad and, and rejoice in it, Father. We thank you, Lord. We come to you, Lord, because we adore you, O Lord. We worship you, O Lord. We just want to say thank you, O Lord, for you are the light of the world. We want to say thank you, O Lord, for the word that's going to go forth this morning, dear Lord, and Heavenly Father, the prayers that avail of much. We want to say thank you, Lord, this morning. We just want to say thank you, oh Lord, for we know that weeping may endure for a night, but that joy comes in the morning. And Lord, we just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the prayers that avail of much, Father. We just want to say thank you for the gospel, for the good news, for your word, Lord. Say thank you, Father, for in the wonderful name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We do thank Brother Ron for that opening prayer. Praise God. And we are getting ready to start this message this morning. Praise God. In the book of Psalms, uh, chapter uh, 91, verse 1. Amen. If you would just go with me there. Praise God. Amen. Visit us on So I'm so thankful. Praise, praise God. We're going to look here and we'll be reading from the book of Psalms 91 and 1. Praise God. The Bible reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Almighty, praise God, of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and fortress. My God in him will I trust. Amen. And praise God. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress and my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Praise God. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence uh, that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And uh, 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 it says that a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at the right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Praise God. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee 
in all thy ways. Amen. Praise God. He shall give angels a uh, 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 charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Amen. Let us say a little prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you so much, Lord God, for the divine protections that you have granted to your children. We thank you, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, even in this COVID-19, Lord God, you're able, Lord God, to provide us with a covering, Lord God, that will protect us, Lord God, when we are out and about doing your will. We ask you, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you allow others to come into that covering, Lord God. Protect those that are around us, our family members, Lord God, and our loved ones as well, Lord God, as they also come under your wings of protection. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as I begin to bring this message forth today, I ask you, Lord God, to let it be effectual and powerful to bring about your will in the, in the lives of the hearers. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, open up those ears, Lord God, that they may be able to hear what your spirit says to your church. Be a blessing to their lives, Lord God. Let the meditation of my heart, words of my mouth be acceptable in your sight, Lord God. Use me, Lord God, as I submit myself to your use. Let me, Lord God, speak your words, Lord God, not mine, Lord God. And Lord God, give understanding to those that hear, Lord God, that they may be able to receive it, Lord God, with open heart, Lord God, and that it may manifest in their lives. We ask you to do this, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Praise God. You know, I want to uh, call this message today, uh, I'm covered. Amen. I'm covered. Amen. Uh, uh, you know, uh, working in the healthcare environment for so long, there's one thing that I learned about working around uh, people that potentially have infectious diseases Verse, and also people that were vulnerable to different things uh, uh, that I might have with me that could also cause harm to them. And in doing so, one of the areas of healthcare that is very highly uh, uh, discussed and used in the healthcare environment is called personal protective equipment, PPE. Amen. PPE is a, uh, in definition that is, is a clothing or equipment that's designed to protect workers from physical hazards when on a work site. Amen. It, it has a design to, to not be used, praise God, at all times, but to be used uh, when it's appropriately needed. Amen. And, and you know, uh, uh, I know working in a healthcare environment, we constantly were told uh, 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 to, as security to go and, and watch on the parking lots for staff members that were walking around in their hospital scrubs because they themselves was coming out and exposing these scrubs to uh, uh, germs and things like that that would could be brought back in uh, to the patient, which the patient is supposed to be in a protected area that will be free from the risk of certain uh, uh, types of germs that could cause them harm. Uh, many times, you know, it's a little frustrating to have to put on these types of coverings because they cover everything from head to toe, praise God. But the thing that could encourage you to wear these things, praise God, would be that when you see the results that can come from not wearing it. In this time of COVID right now, we are dealing with uh, a, 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 a method of being able to still move about, but yet stay protected. You don't need PPE, praise God, when you are in your own personal environment when you're around other people that are in isolation with you. But when you go out into the public, praise God, you become exposed to different types of things that can attach themselves to you and be brought back into your environment. And that's why we ourselves must be not only, praise God, faithful, but we must be wise. Amen? 
Sometimes we don't use the proper wisdom that is necessary when it comes to having faith. Some faith that we have is just vain faith. Amen. And because and it's only vain because of the way we use it. Sometimes we'll get uh, uh, these types of, I see people in the hospital, they had to take their uh, uh, protective equipment and some of it had to be thrown away while other pieces were able to be uh, used again, but they had to be re-sanitized uh, and cleansed over again. That way that they won't uh, be able to uh, uh, infect the person. And that's very important that we keep those things in mind. In fact, the Bible tells us that sin is, is like an infectious disease. And when we're out there uh, trying to uh, win a soul to Christ or move a saint from out of error, errorous teachings, we ourselves can be exposed, praise God, to that infectious disease of the sin. How many people have all fallen victim, praise God, to being infected with sin when their, their job was to go and help people to be cleansed from their sins? Sometimes you, if, without using good and proper wisdom, some men would go in and try to minister to some woman that has no, no kind of scruples and, and she's willing to come at him in a way as, you know, that changes the whole narrative of why he's there. And if he's not careful, he just might fall into that trap, praise God. And before he knows it, that sin uh, uh, be on him. The Bible says that uh, uh, there are some that we should save with compassion and, and we, we should be very soft in our approach to people and to, to try to win them to Christ because they can be motivated uh, uh, by our kindness and gentleness and, and those things. But then he said, but there's another kind that's so in, in, encourageable that this kind, praise God, say that you got the only, you got to use fear. You got to be like a person that's uh, pulling a, a coal out of the barbecue. You see it, that coal laying in that 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 uh, grill, and it's hot as and glowing red. In order for you to take that heat off, so it don't completely burn up, you have to take that coal away from the fire. And he said that's the way some people have to uh, 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 be uh, talked to in order for to bring them out of their uh, 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 sins. Some people, they because of they're so encourageable that you can't keep out on trying to tell them that, praise God, that your area that you're in uh, uh, is, is going to be deadly to your life. And because it is deadly to your life, praise God, you yourself are not only endangering yourself, but you're also endangering others that are around you. Praise God. So the Bible tells us about this, praise God. When he said, when Jesus, the Bible tells us in Psalms, uh, let me see right here. Yeah. In, uh, in the book of Psalms uh, uh, 103, he says, Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Amen. You see, God wants us to know that there are angels that he have out here that we cannot see. And these angels have been put uh, out here, praise God, for all the saints, the ones that are going to inherit eternal life, for to use them, praise God, to minister, praise God, against the things that are unseen, to provide our protections against those unseen forces that are out here. But they only move when God's word is spoken. Amen? Mm -hmm. So these Amen. angels are out here. Uh, 103 and 21 said, Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Amen? Mm -hmm. Praise God. All the host of angels that are out here in the area, praise God, they're all around us as saints. They're just sitting there waiting for a command from God. Amen? Amen. And they are set forth out here, uh, uh, praise God, to minister for those uh, that are heirs of salvation. Praise God. You know that this was also brought up in the book of St. Luke, praise God, with Jesus. 
St. Luke verse uh, uh, chapter 4 and 9 reads, And he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple. He said to him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. Praise God. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something, praise God? Yeah. You know that is a true word from God. Even though the devil said it, you know, the devil says a lot of things that God says. That's why the Bible said he can become an angel of light. Amen. Amen. And thus, in doing so, praise God, sometimes the, 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 that devil will try to give people God's word about a circumstance that will cause you to do something that's going to be detrimental to your health and somebody else's health. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You see, as a person growing up, I, I found out the importance of having insurance. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, even as a young person, praise God, you know, insurance is, is in, in all this form is very important. Whether it be uh, 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 car insurance, home insurance, health insurance, or life insurance. So, see, see, the reason why it feels good to have these assurances, praise God, so that you can know that things are covered if something is to happen. When things happen, there is coverage, praise God. Here it is, when you, you, you have these insurances, sometimes you can walk around and be a little bit overconfident, praise God, because of your being covered, amen? When you have coverage, praise God, that does not give you the right to be reckless, hallelujah. Sometimes people are very, very reckless, praise God, because they do have coverage. You got to be mindful, praise God, that the Bible tells us, let love be your guide. It ain't about you. It's about the other, praise God. I remember back in the, when I was working in the hospital, how that, you know, we were being instructed to put on uh, rubber gloves, uh, plastic gloves when we go and deal with a patient when we have to touch them or anything. And, you know, when we go in there to touch the patient and before we touch them, we put on these gloves, the first thing that comes to the patient is that, you know, I'm not dirty. Why are you treating me like that, like I'm dirty or something? But you know, the response is, no, these gloves are not for me and my protection. It's to protect you from me. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, insurances is not necessarily uh, just to cover yourself, but it's also about covering your neighbor. Covering those people that are uh, uh, with you, around you, doing things, coming in contact with them, those same things are for their protection as well. The Bible says that they love thy neighbor as you love yourself. And nobody wants anybody to bring an infectious disease to them unawares. Amen. You know, we being people that are designed to be social people, God himself, praise God, have put and gave us some precious promises, some divine coverings, but there are certain people around us that don't have these coverings, hallelujah, and we are not going to be glad when we see them fall, praise God, to uh, whatever disease or anything that happened to them because we want to have them saved. It ain't just about our coverage. It's about the coverage, praise God, for other people as well. Even when you're on the road driving, praise God, as some people, you know, they do so reckless things that they normally wouldn't do if they know they didn't have insurance. If they riding around, you see them, they're very careful. They ain't trying to do nothing to get in no accident. But do you get overconfident when you have coverage? Do you do wild things when you got good health insurance? Here it is. You got a P, uh, 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 what is that? P, P, uh, O uh, insurance. That means that the doctor said, I ain't worried about how you're living. As long as you come in here, we'll just go ahead on and, and, and try to fix what you did, the damage that you done. Where HMO requires you to come in with constant visits to do preventive medicine. 
It's all about preventive things, praise God. And it's very important that we look and see how we might could prevent a shipwreck, how we might prevent a death, how we might prevent something from happening. And that in itself is using wisdom. But the devil sometimes, he would challenge us to try to prove something to him, praise God. And, and, and you know, Jesus, he wasn't that kind of, uh, of, of God. He wanted to make sure we understood something when he said to the devil, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. You see, the devil wanted Jesus to commit suicide. And some people in their behavior is on the verge of committing suicide. Hallelujah. They think that, that, that just because they have covering, that they are, uh, are nothing going to happen to them. But I can tell you right now, there are in that covering that you have, praise God, you got to understand the limitations that you have as it relates to your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You got to remember PPE is about your personal protection. But what about protecting those other people that are around you? What is we doing about that, praise God? It's very important, praise God. God has promised the protection of angels just to encourage us to trust him. Amen? That just to, for us to trust him, not to tempt him. Sometimes we might let the devil trick us, and, and, and then we'll begin to say, well, I'm going to check the promises of God. Sometimes people want to say, well, let me see. If God said that, I'm going to try it. And I'm going to see what happens. That's why he said, the Bible says, look, don't do like those people did in the wilderness when they tried me and proved me, praise God, and all of them fell dead in the wilderness. Because they tried me and tempted me to prove me and fell dead in the wilderness. Don't fall dead in the wilderness because you got coverage. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Remember that, praise God, that God promised administration of his angels, but don't go no further than what God promised. Don't make it be something else. Mm -hmm. He said right here that just because he said that he will, he will, uh, his angels will catch thee up, praise God, don't mean you ain't going to hit the ground. Hallelujah. His angel will come and lift you up, praise God, mm -hmm. after you have hit the ground. Mm -hmm. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. That's what insurance does. That's what it does. It covers you after you have hit the ground. Mm -hmm. It's after you have had the wreck. It's after you have fallen sick. It's after you have died. Mm -hmm. All of these things come in afterwards, praise God. So it needs you to understand this. <coughs> he said that. So you won't go out there thinking that you can fly. Praise God. Amen. Don't jump off no house thinking no angel going to catch you, but that angel going to come down and begin to start healing your wounds. They're going to begin to start trying to re try to uh, uh, fix your broken bones and, and things like that. Praise God. He said, so don't jump out there thinking you can fly. Praise God. He said that, see, Jesus himself, he also knew who he was. He was God himself, praise mm -hmm. God. But the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 2 and 16, he said, For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. Ah, oh, praise God. Don't take on the nature of angels. So many people are messing up, praise God. Even Jesus told them that, praise God, when they talked about, you know, and if, if one man had a, a wife and he died and his brother took her and, she, and he died and then he said, and then they all go to heaven when she died, whose wife will he be? Will she be? And he said that, well, praise God, Jesus said, you don't know the scriptures. Because he said that they won't be married nor given to marriage, but they will be as the angels. Hallelujah. Some people try to do that down here on earth. They'll be down here on earth not giving in marriage, <laughs> thinking that it's all right, praise God. Why? Because God said in heaven, praise God. I want you to know you ain't in heaven right now, praise God. You stuck down here in these bodies, amen? amen, praise God. You're in Christ Jesus in heavenly places, but you ain't home yet, Amen. praise God. The Bible said that he took on the seed of Abraham, wherefore in all things, it behooved him to be made like unto 
his brethren. Amen. Praise God. Even though we are Christians and we have divine covering, we got to also realize we are human as well. Praise God. We are on this earth bound in these mortal bodies. Praise God. Just like the rest of the people. They're subject to different things, subject to sicknesses, subject to different things that can happen to it. And because of the God divine mercy, he's the kind of God that gives us covering, praise God, that allow us to go in that he might bring us out. Hallelujah. That's how you begin to know that, praise God. He's the kind of God that there ain't no kind of disease that he cannot heal, no kind of accident that he cannot fix. There's no kind of problem or trouble that you can get in. He cannot bring you out. He can bring you out of them all, praise God. But if he decides to let you stay in it, praise God, there is no fault on him because it's working for your favor. It has something to do with it. Praise God. You don't believe me? Ask Job. Amen? Praise God. Amen. If you ask Job, praise God, when he had all that sickness all over his body, praise God. Thank you. Hallelujah, praise God. You begin to start wondering, that, well, wait a minute. Now, now, this ain't supposed to happen to me. I want you to know that, praise God, stuff happens. Hallelujah. But because stuff happens, you got to know that you have a covering. Amen. You are covered. Amen. That's your insurance, that blessed assurance that we have in Christ Jesus, that he's going to do what is best for our circumstances. We are not controlling him. He is the one that's controlling us. He's the one that's directing our footsteps. He's the one that won't allow us to walk and slip, praise God. But if we accidentally walk and slip, praise God, he said that I'm able, praise God, to stand you back up again. Praise God. So he says that he was made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest and things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. Amen. Praise God. You don't want to be an uncaring saint that's not concerned about those that don't know God, the ones that don't have the blessed assurance, the ones that don't know Jesus. As they are going through whatever they're going through, their fears and their doubts, and while you're walking around with your courage and your power, praise God, you, you know, you kind of like messing them up. Mm. Praise God. He says in Philippians chapter 2 and 5, let this mind be in you. Mm. Praise God, which was also in Christ Jesus. Praise God. You got to change your thinking. Praise God. If you don't change your thinking, praise God, you're going to be living reckless. Amen? Amen. And God don't want you living reckless, praise God. He wants us to understand that Jesus said, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made of himself no reputation. Boy, if you want to get a reputation, then you walk, keep right on messing around in this COVID. Keep right on, praise God, exposing yourself to those things. And you wind up being crying at the end, praise God, when God keep on trying to tell us, praise God, that don't let the devil fool you to commit suicide. Praise God. He said that he made of himself no reputation that took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Praise God. Let yourself be in the likeness of those that are around you. Don't be keep on walking around, praise God, exposing people to your risky behavior, mm -hmm. your dangerous uh, 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 moves and things like that. He said, being, he, he was found in the form of a fashion as of a man. Mm -hmm. That means you got to look at yourself and realize you ain't no angel. Amen. Praise God. Some people think that they're angels right now. You're not an angel. And they start trying to go and, and follow the rules of angels when they're not. But the angels have been sent forth to minister on for our behalf. Praise God. He humbled himself. Praise God. Look at your neighbor and say, humble yourself. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Praise God. You got to come down a little bit. You got to condescend yeah. to us. You got to be human with us. Yes. Praise God. You can't yes. keep walking on a cloud. Praise God. Because yes. I just might try to walk on that cloud too. And I find myself falling. Hallelujah. <laughs> but he tells us, praise God, 
uh, uh, he became obedient unto death. Hallelujah. Being obedient, praise God. That means he submitted himself that he says, you know, I can be dead. I, I, I can die too. Even the death of the cross. When you be able to recognize that you are in the same boat with everybody else, you act different. But when you think that you uh, got some kind of good covering, when I'm driving out there on the street, I got insurance. But I'm still going to be driving defensively. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be watching out how the other person drives. Mm -hmm. Some people could care less how somebody else is driving. They're only concerned about what they are doing. Amen. If the light says go, they don't care whether the other car is going to obey the light that says stop. And thus they come into an accident. You got to stop, look, and see, praise God, is that other person going to stop? Mm -hmm. Even though it told them, praise God, to stop, they might not stop. And you could have averted a complete accident. Yes. A complete yes. accident could have been averted if you just simply said, I got the right to do this. I can do this, praise God. But when your rights is making your brother sick, Something is wrong with that. Mm -hmm. He said that said it <laughs> the thing that we can do, the Bible said, don't you, you gotta watch out just because you can do something, mm -hmm. don't mean that you should. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just because you can don't mean you should. Mm -hmm. And you gotta be mindful that sometimes, praise God, you got to yield, praise God, to righteousness. Mm -hmm. Not praise God, yield to your rights, but yield <coughs> to righteousness. Praise God, so that your rights don't make your brothers ill. Amen? The Bible says that humble yourself, therefore, unto the mighty hand of God, that he might exalt you in due time. Humble ourselves to God. He's the mighty one. That power, we, don't, we, we ain't in control of the power. He's in control of the power. We are just instruments for his use. And he can use us any way that he would. Amen? Amen. But when we praise God, he said, when we humble ourselves to the mighty hand of God, he is the one that will exalt us in due time. Not the time we might want. We got to have patience and wait on God for him to do what he's going to do. Praise God. And while we are waiting on God, we need to uh, uh, join the rest of the family. Join the rest of the world. Join everybody else so that you'll be able to say that, praise God. Look, uh, 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 praise God. I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. And, and, and because I'm not subject, praise God, to the laws and things of this world, praise God, still got to consider those that are in the world. Praise God. If I'm going to be about winning souls, Jesus himself even told them that. Praise God. He trained all of his disciples, praise God, to be concerned about the other person. Be concerned about their welfare. Be concerned about your neighbor. Praise God. Love thy neighbor as thyself. There used to be a time when you didn't know God. And you have these superhuman, these superhuman people walking around, praise God, and proclaiming stuff that they might have or coverage that they might have, boasting on your life where you have no coverage, praise God. Sometimes, praise God, people that with coverage, praise God, they will do better if they didn't have coverage, if they didn't know they, they, had, they had coverage, because then they won't be so reckless in their behaviors, praise God. That way Jesus, he himself, praise God, came down here, humbled himself, became like human so that he could be subject to the same stuff that could happen to others. So he told that devil, praise God, don't tempt, the, don't try to tempt me. I ain't trying to prove nothing to you. If you don't already know that I'm a Christian, I'm sorry. Praise God. If you don't know that I'm a son of God, I'm sorry. That's going to take something that's going to take time. You just keep that on being who you are, and don't worry about what other people say about you. He said, for what man of love had the Father bestowed upon you that you should be called the sons of God? But I'm going to tell you right now, everybody ain't going to call you that son of God. They might call you son of something else, but they might not call you a son of God. By the time you be living that reckless life, they might be calling you all kinds of names. 
praise God, but God tells us, praise God, we got to live with them, praise God, in a way that's going to be harmless. Wise as, uh, 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 what they call it, wolves, but, but, but harmless as doves. We got to be uh, harmless people, praise God. We should not ever be harmful, amen? And the way we do this is when we humble ourselves to God's mighty hand. And let him be the one that exalts us. Mm -hmm. Cast all our care upon him, for he cares for you. You see, God do care for you. Amen. You see, don't, don't, don't think God don't care for you because he don't let you go through nothing. Because God himself, he says that, praise God, that, that you're going to go through something. In this world, you're going to have trouble. But in me, you're going to have peace. Mm -hmm. huh? You have tribulation. In this world, you're going to have this. But in me, you're going to have peace. He says, now I want you to understand something. That, that Jesus, even though he was the son of God, the book of Hebrews 5 and 7 says, who in the days of his flesh, praise God, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with mm -hmm. strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared. Praise God. You know, fear is, it has torment, but there are some kind of fears that will make a person not be reckless. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. sometimes, praise God, Amen. you got to be cautious. Amen. You got to be mindful. Mm -hmm. You got to be considerate. Mm -hmm. And when you have these all in your mind, when you're doing and doing your walk on earth, mm -hmm. you won't walk around here, praise God, doing risky behaviors that's going to cause other people to uh, be harmed. When you love people, you don't want them harmed. Amen? Amen. So he said right here, in his flesh, when he offered up prayers, he said, uh, though he were a son, though you are a Christian, though you are a believer, though you belong to God, though you've been given all these precious promises, yet learned he obedience by the things he suffered. Hallelujah. You see, one way of learning obedience is through suffering. Amen? When you begin to start suffering yourself to be humble, to praise God, to take down, mm -hmm. not to try to be uh, so that you get some kind of uh, 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 some kind of uh, uh, big thing. Oh, this person is a, a great person of God. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You just better say that I thank God that I have his mercy. I thank that I'm in his mercy. I'm thanking God that COVID hasn't touched me nor my family. I thank God that yeah. he continued to give me my ministering mm -hmm. angels, amen, to watch out over my loved ones, praise God. I'm not going to, praise God, go beyond that, but I know that what God does is going to be best for me. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. He said that in being made perfect, perfect means mature, praise God. Mature thinking people, praise God, know how to handle being covered. Hallelujah. Children don't know how to handle being covered. They'll go out there, praise God, get car insurance, and then be racing up and down the road, spinning tires and, 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 and swerving and, and jumping heels and, 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 and all kinds of dangerous behavior. And they say, well, well why you do that? I'm covered. I got, I got insurance. You know, run all across you, cut you off short. Uh, tailgating people, uh, riding real close, real fast. Doing all kinds of stuff. Why? Because I am covered. Praise God. But that covering is no good when you kill somebody else next to you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> praise God. Amen. Mm -hmm. He said right here, praise God, that uh, 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 he became the author of eternal salvation to, uh, to all of them that obey him. When we obey Christ, praise God, we bec he becomes the author of the eternal salvation. For even here too were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. Christ left an example, y'all. Christ, who he was, he was the son of God, but he could have stopped everything that was happening to him. He had power. He said that, praise God, when Pilate says that, don't you know what I could do to you? And he said, I could call 20 legions of angels if I wanted to, praise God, and they would fight for me. But guess what? Guess what? I'm here on earth. Uh, this kingdom is not mine. This kingdom ain't mine, praise God. And thus that being his, praise God, what's the point of calling on those angels? He had to go through. I'm going to tell you, sometimes you got to go through. Sometimes you got to go through. 
And sometimes, praise God, while you're going through, praise God, you'll be protecting everything else around you. And when you're protecting everything out, you're now fulfilling the law of Christ. You're fulfilling the law of Christ. So that was his footstep. He says in John, 1 John chapter 4 and 16, and we have known and believed that the love God has to us, God is love. And he that dwells in love dwells in God. And God in him. Praise God. That means that when we dwell in love, in love, in love, that's love to everyone else. Not just love to God, but love to everybody else. Praise God. Let love be your guide. Praise God. He said that, praise God, that herein is our love made perfect or mature. Our love now has been made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because he, as he is, so are we in the world. As he is, we are like that also in the world. And he said that, praise God, there is no fear in love. Hallelujah. There's no fear in love, praise God. You don't have to be afraid in love, praise God. Why? Because you understand that God is in control. God is watching over everything. God is the one that pays attention to what you are going through. He's the one that wants to make sure that you have the proper coverage to be used when needed. Amen? Amen. He says, but perfect love casts out fear. Perfect love casts it out. It moves our fear. When we become mature, we no longer have to walk around in fear. Praise God. When you walk around in fear, praise God, Fear, it becomes a torment to you. That's why they give you an age bracket. They say, look, you ain't got to be afraid of, of, of drinking a little wine because you're old enough to make a good decision. You don't have to be afraid, praise God, to interact and engage in sex because you are of age and you know how to make a mature decision. When you're able to make mature decisions about the things of God, now the power of God, the use of that insurance of be able to be helpful to you. But the insurance does not pay off when you commit suicide. When you do a things, it kills the policy. When you become abusive, living in this world without abusing it, but using it, praise God. Use it, but don't abuse it, praise God. He says, uh, uh, praise God, and I do, I have insurance, but I also understand that, praise God, I don't want to go out here and just abuse because I got that. Just because I got good health insurance, not to keep right on doing unhealthy behaviors, smoking and, 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 and over drinking, damaging my liver, uh, 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 you know, all those bad behaviors that they're trying to tell us that are going to be harmful to our health. Those are the areas in there, praise God, that just because I, I have coverage <coughs> that you might, okay, I might can go to the doctor and get them to work on me for my uh, uh, cancer that was caused by my, my smoking, but I, I ain't want nobody to tell me to stop smoking. I ain't want nobody to tell me to stop doing this. I ain't want nobody to tell me certain behaviors I need to back up off of because maturity tells me I need to do this. Because these things are harmful to my health. Amen. But you don't write a blank check on God. Mm -hmm. You don't just jump out there and just expect God to, to, to cover you for your risky behavior. For your uh, uh, reckless behavior. Praise God. God told Jesus, when, when Jesus said this to them, he says, your love got to be made perfect. And that perfect Love cast out fear because fear has torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. But I can tell you right now, when I'm riding down the road and the police officer pulled me over, and I said, I got, I got uh, car insurance, you see. I want to make sure that my stuff is, you know, in order. So that when he pulled me over and asked me a question, I don't have to be sitting there in fear. I don't have to be worried, praise God, that, you know, I'm going to be pulled in because I'm back being reckless out here, thinking that everything's going to be okay. But if something happens, 
it'll be a terrible situation that I put myself in. And wondering why God allowed this to happen? No, you have to understand what the will of God is for your life. He says, we love him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because he loved us first. See, that's where we learn about coverage. Coverage is love. Praise God. Coverage is love. I want to advise many people today, young and old, you need to look at getting some life insurance. So many people today don't see the usefulness of it. If somebody were to take a survey and find out who has life insurance and who don't, you'd be amazed at who don't. And so many times at the end, when it comes up, you'll find that it, it damages everybody else that's around. Everybody mad at you because they got to go out here and try to raise up the funds for something that we basically could have been doing all along. Having good coverage is a necessary thing to give you comfort and peace and give your loved ones comfort and peace so that if something were to happen to you, it not only covers you, but it covers them. It covers them, praise God. When you say, I'm covered, are you covering your neighbor? Are you covering your family? Are you covering everyone else in your life? Or are you just covering you? Just covering you. I want you to understand today, there's a way for you to cover others. Jesus, he made sure that others got covered. He himself humbled himself. He made sure that the covering he had could also be extended to us. He made sure that all the protections of God could also be extended to us. He made a way, praise God, to protect the whole family, not just me. We love our family. We love our children. We love everybody, but when we understand that they need covering too, we need to tell them about Jesus so that they also can cover those that they are connected to. Mm. When we cover yeah. them, we're connected to, you mm. cover them also. Mm. Jesus is a fortress. Mm. He's a refuge. He does cover us. He gives us divine promises. And I want you to know that, praise God. Remember other people in your life. And then you fulfill what God has said. Thank God for being covered Amen. today. May God bless y'all. Praise God. Uh, uh, praise the Lord as he has blessed me. Praise God. And I want y'all to enjoy the rest of your day. Praise God. Enjoy the rest of your day. Love you. And I see you on Wednesday. God, uh, uh, God permission.